Violence among youth groups in Adabraka and Pankrono has become a common occurrence. Lives are consistently lost and properties destroyed. The latest incident on Wednesday was triggered after one Ousu Banahene was fatally stabbed whilst on his way to attend nature's call at a public toilet in Pankrono. It was around 4, 4 p.m. in the evening. And we were all around, we just heard a call that we should come to um, Tafo. Tafo Government Hospital that our brother has been stabbed. So we all went there and that's where we found the body. By the time we reached there, he was already gone. This is the exact spot where Ousu Banahene was ambushed by his assailant and stabbed to death. The youth in this area are boiling with anger and they want the police to, as a matter of urgency, arrest all the perpetrators involved and prosecute them. On Thursday, Pankronu youth attacked Adabraka, but police intervened promptly to prevent the clash from escalating. Two persons are currently in the custody of the police to assist with investigation. The deceased family emphasized that peace cannot be achieved without justice. Since I came to Pankrono, or since I stayed here, it has been going on. Pankrono and Adabraka, Pankrono and Tafo, it has been going on. But if you call the police, if something happens, you call the police, the police will arrest the person. The next minute, the person is walking among us. We are expecting the police to do the investigation on it, or else the guys will retaliate, not us. The violent altercation has caused widespread fear among the residents. Both communities have a youth gang. The killing and subsequent reprisal attacks have scared us. We are just hoping things would be resolved soonest. A police station in this community will at least reduce these kinds of incidents. Residents anticipate that authorities will deliberate on a path to achieving lasting peace in the area. The police are currently steadfast in their effort to uphold law and order by preventing any potential retaliatory attacks. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Pankrono, Ashanti Region.